Hey there, fanboys and fangirls. This is your host, the other Luke, and joining me as always, the other host, Sherlock Colvin, and Lord Skywalker. And this week, we've got a lot of Pokemon news coming your way. And if you've been playing throughout the year, you've known uh, that Red, Blue, and Yellow was released on the uh, the Game Boy Virtual Store. Um, I personally, I snagged Red like day one. I actually ended up getting a 3DS just so I could play this because I heard that they're going to make it to where you can transport these into Sun and Moon in the future. Oh, nice. I, I had no idea about that. Yeah, I got Yellow. Yellow was the one I started off with back in, jeez. In the day. 90, 96 is when it yeah. dropped. Yeah. Red and blue. I don't know when. I don't yellow, remember when yellow, I want to say it was 98. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Dang, y'all. I was six years old. Yeah, I'm right. I'll be 26 this year. You're dating yourself, Sean. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm old, y'all. I'm feeling it. We're, we're slowly turning into like those young adult fanboys that are like, oh, look, look at these young fanboys. They don't, they don't know what's going on. Back in my day, we had to sit on the couch to catch Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and Back in my day, Kenner made the Star Wars toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, let's not talk about that. Uh, I think those are fighting now. words to Sean. Well, no, jo no joke though. Do you guys remember Tomy, the company that made like this tiny, tiny, tiny little Pokemon figures when they first came out? Yeah, like the eraser toppers. They weren't eraser toppers, but they were like they're really well painted, and like you could get them in like a little Pokeball. And what's funny is they quit making stuff for years, and then recently, over the past like probably five years or so, they started making. Pokemon stuff again, and th now they're making like Disney stuff. This is Pokemon is, is one of those things that never dies. Uh, they're gonna keep making Pokemon forever, and it's gonna be fun as it was when you first played it. Yeah, Pokemon is it's like it's lived long enough to still be popular during its reboot. Because if you think about it, Pokemon kept going from when we were younger. Like the story kept going on. They kept adding new uh, new regions, and you had new characters, and then you, you know you got. Uh, Diamond, Pearl, and all these different games that kept coming out, and then, but now, they've re-released some of the original ones. Now you've got the fans of the newer Pokemon able to go back and now experience what we experience when we were younger. So I think it's kind of a, you know, I'm kind of jealous. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's full circle. Yeah. They still haven't run out of colors. Man. I, uh... <laughs> I honestly face the rainbow. After <laughs> silver and gold, I kind of fell off the the, the Pokemon scene, mm -hmm. and I I got back into it with the release of Pokemon Black, black and white back in what shoot, two thousand seven, yeah. seven eight, yeah. Because I got back with um Soul Silver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I had the little Pokey Walker I thing. About I Soul still Silver. have that. That was that was Pokey. Uh, that was Pokey Go like 1.0, I guess. I yeah, <laughs> that was the beta. I'm pretty sure I still have a Lugia on that thing. Nice. Chilling. I forgot about that. I feel bad for him now. I remember pre-ordering. I was pumped for that. Yeah, that was that one was pretty cool because I remember getting because I still have my silver version from my Game Boy. I yep. I still it. And I still have. The um, the uh, all my like original Pokemon on there on there and everything like so I haven't like reset or anything so it, it's it's pretty cool to go back and just load up the old team. Captain America is jealous of you. What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, you go to GameStop or, or any other used game store, and they've got the like, how, let's just say Pokemon the re-release of Silver. Hey, you pretty much you got you can get a used copy for the same price as a brand new one. Yeah, that's how popular Pokemon and Nintendo. That's Nintendo's flagship, I think. With Mario, mm -hmm. it's Mario and Pokemon, and and that's those are their flagships. And Link, you can't forget Link, Zelda. Yeah, that's it's like <laughs> it, it's crazy how how well those games hold their value. Oh yeah, like I went into uh, GameStop the other day. I mean. Still, diamond and pearl, you're dropping thirty bucks for. Yeah, and those were thirty bucks, like back when I worked at GameStop when they came five out. years ago. When they were released brand new, yeah. <laughs> so it's just it's ridiculous that that they still hold their value, and people are still going and buying those games and reliving those games, even though there's new ones coming out. 
because I'll be honest, like the newer ones, it's it's gotten a little much. Like I still enjoy it, but there's a lot more to the game. And I'll be honest, at first I was a little overwhelmed. Yeah, like the whole egg concept and the hatching. Yeah. Yeah, that's I I honestly can honestly say I've never done any of that. Yeah. You missed the simplicity. It's it's just one of those things where it's like, obviously they 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 can't keep go- expanding like this and not try different things. But it's one of those things where yeah yeah I have to say it is the simplicity. I just like you just go around, you catch something, you you slowly level it up and you evolve it, and then, you know it's just it, it was it it's almost like it was great how it was, and there's it's like, it's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Not that it's a bad thing. I, I applaud them for trying different things, but at the same time, it's kind of like, eh, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. As long as it doesn't interfere with the core gameplay, I don't have an issue with it. I don't, I don't either. I, I've got a big question for you guys. What's that? Who still, who still got your cards? Oh, I still have my deck. I, I, I have all my, my hollows and rares, but as far as all everything else, I, I couldn't tell you where those are at. I've got a whole box. Yep. I got my binder still. <laughs> my, uh, I have my first edition Charizard and a little plaque hanging on my wall. I got lucky. Uh, I was in, in sixth grade middle school, and some cat left his cards out on the the middle of the floor, and it so happened to be a Charizard in that deck. Granted, what? granted, it's it was crappy and it's in rough shape, but I still, def- I definitely took it. I dude, mean- I snagged a dark Charizard <laughs> for a fruit roll up one time in fourth grade. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fruit no fruit way. That's, yeah. That's a good and I'm still paying 30 bucks for Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got lucky with that Charizard. So I, I, like I said, I have the a lot of the original rares and hollows. Uh, and I here recently have uh, out of the blue, I'll go to you know Walmart or uh, Walgreens and pick up a booster pack and, and get some cool pulls from those, which. Uh, I have those, and I just threw those in the binder. See, with, with the cards now, what they do is they release, uh, like, common ones will release a Zubat with a reverse hollow, where the whole card is holographic and the actual picture is just a regular. Um, huh. I don't know, you know, value wise, I couldn't tell you if that adds or decreases value. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't grabbed any of the since they've like re because they've re released the Pokemon cards, like some like the original, like the first hundred and fifty. Yeah, they kind of went back and done like a. They repackaged them. Yeah. Yeah, and I have a I can I have a slow poke that I pulled that is just like the ones back in the day, but it's obviously been you know touched up. But yeah, they they've they're throwing some re-release of the original 150 into the how many are there now? Six, Two, seven, eight. eight. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, there's they're, they're pushing yeah, there. There's quite a bit. Yeah. Because I remember when I was in a. It was in fifth grade. I got dared to if I could if I could name all 150 Pokemon, I get a fruit roll up. Dude, fruit roll ups were the stuff back then. It was like <laughs> it was like because like, like, you're, like you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> did it have the tattoo that you could do your tongue on? <laughs> like you tattoo your oh, tongue. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's <laughs> not worth it. <laughs> it. Ain't a fruit roll up if you can tattoo your tongue. <laughs> if there's no tongue tattoo, you're not getting the dark jars, are you? There's <laughs> no go. No go, sir. <laughs> so, um, were you, were... What was that? At your school? <laughs> Say that one more time. You like Morgan Freeman and Shawshank? Were you the guy who <laughs> in your school who could get things? Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, people... Usually, your lunch money was put onto your account, so you couldn't have the money. So you would just buy things that people liked in the lunch line, and you would trade them. That was your currency. <laughs> Food was your currency. Hey, you gotta do what you, what you gotta, gotta do. do. I got this sweet fruit roll up. Let me throw you that right shoe for that fruit roll up, son. Let me get that Pikachu for this. I got some popsicles <laughs> over here. Whole freezer full of popsicles. <laughs> but, uh, please tell me you guys have seen the meme where it's like it's Pedo Bear in a creepy van that has spray paint on the side, like yeah. rare Pokemon inside. It says how to kidnap a twenty-six year old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw the one, uh, the meme of Herbert from Family Guy. It says I got a rare Pokemon in the basement. <laughs> 
So just a, a quick note. It looks like um, there's 721. Total Pokemon? Holy crap. Um, and I can only name 150. <laughs> I mean, you can name more than I that. I can name a little bit more than that, but not there's, much. <laughs> Bottom line. Def- definitely have some brushing up to do. Yeah. There's got to be some repeats in there. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. So um, but speaking of uh, the older ones, I'm glad that now playing through red, and then I- I'm thinking about getting yellow once I finish playing through red, just so I can have some more Pokemon to throw in on uh, Sun and Moon. Hey, if you're building your your team, go for it. Yeah, just because I mean I'm I'm a sucker for the starters. I just I want Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard right there on my team. I just Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Red, like those have always been like my three like first go tos. Oh yeah, I was a Pokemon Snap kid. Oh, love Snap! <laughs> like I, like I'm talking like when they um. When Blockbuster had the thing where they had like the arcade machines that actually print out the pictures you took. Yeah. Yes. Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah. What's that ancient civilization? <laughs> that that is a name I haven't heard in a long time. A long we must time. Be cautious. <laughs> for for those of you listening who don't remember Blockbuster. <laughs> It, it was the red box of the 90s. You physically had to go there. <laughs> yes. You physically had to go there. And nine Every times Friday out of night. 10, nine times out of 10, there was some pizza establishment attached to the same building of the Blockbuster. Papa John's here. More than likely, yep. Papa John's. <laughs> close yeah. proximity, definitely. <laughs> grab a pizza and a movie. Yep, that was the stuff. And I would, you know, grab an N64 game. Oh, yeah. I remember one time, <laughs> one time I went to Blockbuster. No, it was Hollywood Video. Do you remember Hollywood Video? The Blockbuster's competitor. Yeah, I went and, and I stupidly picked up a PlayStation One game, and I didn't own a PlayStation One. I, f- I felt like an idiot. If it makes you feel any better, I still have a game from Family Video for my 360. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Nintendo 64 game from Hollywood Video. I still have. I stole. I'll be honest. I'll admit to it now. I stole a copy of Shadows of the Empire from the Blockbuster near me. Oh my gosh! At least it was a good game. Oh yeah, well, it, it was one of those like it was just one like I like it was time to return it. I was just like I don't know where it is. <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. I don't know. And it was only like I think it was like you pay like maybe twenty bucks to you know pay for the still or for the quote unquote lost game, and then you just got you just kept what you had. But yeah, like the, uh, I remember with the Pokemon Snap things, like you could, um, you had to have like I, I don't remember what their purpose was, but you had to have like a little card for the arcade machines, and it had like it had either it had one of the three starters or a Pikachu on it, and it had like what looks like those like little chips they have on credit cards now, and you stick it in the machine. I think that was how it's like it knew like it was okay to print out your pictures or something. Like you paid and it went on the card that you paid and they gave you a card or something like that. But my poor dad probably. Bought me three or four of those cards, and he did not <laughs> seem too happy about it. <laughs> and it's about that time uh, here in November where we get uh, the new installment in the new generation of Pokemon with Sun and Moon. Uh, that'll drop November eighteenth for those of you who are patiently waiting. My everything's just blowing up already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally the only thing I've been playing on my 3ds is is red. Do they make other games besides Pokemon for the DS anymore? <laughs> I, I've heard I've heard stories. I got Smash Bros. I still play that. Well, why bother if you have a Wii? Well, you know, portable Smash Bros. You play the Wii. Some tension. There's starter po- <laughs> <laughs> starter Pokemon for for the, Sorry, y'all. I, I love this phone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, How dare you have a social life? <laughs> It's my, my iPod. I can't turn it off. I'm stupid. I don't know. Oh, there's my cat, y'all. <laughs> Everything is falling. God. Um, the dream's collapsing. It's falling apart. What, what's happening here? You got, um, what are these names? Lit, Litton? Or, did I say that right? I clicked on it here. Let's see. Yeah, Litton. Litton. A little cat. You know, it's fire. the fire type. Flame cat. Flame cat. <laughs> Flaming cat. Probably Flame the one cat. I'll start off with, honestly. Yeah, that's because these other two look kind of lame. What is is that? 
You, you got yeah. a Poplu? Did I say that right? Poplio. 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 <laughs> it's a seal, pretty much. It's it's a freaking circus seal with a beach ball on its nose. It's a it seal goes. before it's been to SeaWorld. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it has happiness. Uh, it's fired too soon. And then you get an owl looking thing. I want the owl. Route roll it, roll, roll it. it, roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> that's your that's gonna be your grass. Owls um, are my favorite po or favorite animal. So, if your favorite Pokemon, the, owls? The, the, it might be. <laughs> you got um, a problem with it? <laughs> I, I don't hear. And then you got the two legendaries. One looks like a, a lion. The, this one, uh, Solgaleo. So, so so, Solgaleo, so yeah. Liger Zero. Yeah, Liger Zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> For any, any uh, Zoids fans, <laughs> if any of those still exist. You and far between. <laughs> That's another podcast. Anyway, um, uh, this, this 11 one, feet tall. Wow. 507 pounds. Oh, Full metal there body. Is. <laughs> that is Katarina, everybody. She likes to she make a guest appearance kitty. every now and again. Hello, hello, kitty. Um, this the lion. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna butcher his name. I'm not even gonna try again. That's gonna be available with sun. And you got this. This uh, for moon. You have Lunala. 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 Crazy bat. Psychic, Psychic ghost. ghost. Thirteen feet. Oh, half the weight, two feet taller. Three feet taller, actually. Sweet on versus. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the big news. They, they, if you go to Pokemon's website, um, they have a list. Uh, not a huge list, but it's maybe 20 Pokemon. Yeah, you get, you get, a, you get a, good, a good bit of a preview of some of the new guys. I want the otter that looks like a chomp chomp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give it to them. They... Uh, I mean, the creative minds over there, they are just hard at work because to have over 700 Pokemon, I mean... It's a lot of drugs. <laughs> never, never, never surrender. Right. <laughs> but yeah, you will want to see the list they have. Head over to Pokemon's website and... Yeah, we'll throw a link on the, uh, on the page for everyone. Yeah. So now, uh, this is... This next bit has kind of been a... Uh, Guess what's the word I'm looking for? Catastrophic news. <laughs> yes. No. The new sensation <laughs> sweeping the nation. <laughs> Literally, like it, it's it's already past Twitter uh, and uh, active uh, daily active subscribers. Yeah, and I was uh, the news talking about people people use Pokemon Go more than they use Snapchat right now. Yeah. Which I think that's kind of huge. You know, a lot of people use Snapchat. And yeah, it's crazy. Like yesterday, I went out. And started playing, and I went to a, a town nearby that had a, like a lot of Poke Centers because, honestly, where where I'm currently living, there's nothing. <laughs> it, it it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing. So I went there, and there was like 50 other people at this campus, all walking around. People had it was like midnight. People had flashlights, and they were all just walking around trying to find these Pokemon. It's like this guy was like, "Are you looking for Magmar? Yeah, man. Where's Magmar? <laughs> where's He's Magmar? over here." Thanks, man. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Got some pretty sweet stuff, and I found out that the like the Poke Centers they they reset. Was it like every 10, 15 minutes? Five, fifteen Five minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. So like we were just doing this one circle around this campus, and by the time we get around, the other ones had reset. So we just keep going through. No, as long as you walk far enough away from one, it'll reset. But if you just stand on one for five minutes, it'll reset. Okay. That's like good if you drop a lure on it or something, you can just stand there and while you're doing that, get some extra Pokeballs for if all we did, Pokemon. We didn't mention, we are, of course, talking about Pokemon Go for the iOS and Android. Uh, it dropped, what was it, Sunday, Wednesday? Uh, I think it was Wednesday here in America. Yeah. Because I believe it came out in Australia first. Yeah. Those Aussies got it before us. <laughs> Down oh, under. Fuck. <laughs> um... Now, of course, with it being such a big release, you're going to have your issues with servers. Uh, man, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a little screen that says, sorry, we're having server issues. Yeah, like day one, I, I may have got on like twice. Every time else, it was just like, nope, servers are no go. So pretty yeah. much like for the first like 48 hours the game was out, I pretty much just made my character and leveled up once. <laughs> day one, I gave up. <laughs> I mean, like I said, that's expected. Yeah, um, I mean it's 
this has been looked for and waited on for how long now? I honestly thought this was going to come out later this month. I was not expecting it to come out. It just yeah, I wanted to say I read something somewhere that it was going to be the 16th, but that I'm not 100% sure. I just, I just remember vaguely seeing that, but I mean, it, it definitely came... It definitely kind of came out of nowhere, honestly, I think. Well, I mean, we were we were in the middle of a podcast, and all of a sudden we're just like, oh, yeah, like, this is here. Yeah. <laughs> I was super excited for it. I, mean, I was walking – me, I got my department manager that uh, uh, is over me. I was like, hey, you got to download Pokemon Go. Um, and for literally the first two hours of our shift, we were catching Pokemon. Um, and then, you know, the next day I, as I'm walking in, you know, I catch a Scyther, which that's probably my favorite Pokemon that I've caught so you far. You bastard. Just, yeah. just don't let them know where you work. Yeah. You, you, you can't get in trouble if they don't know. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> because I definitely went to a McDonald's oh, and what? <laughs> <laughs> Spy. <laughs> Um, I went to a McDonald's and I was waiting on my food and the guy that was making my sandwich was catching Pokemon. So I, w I was kind of impressed, but then I was like, all right, I don't really know how sanitary this is. I want my sandwich. <laughs> it's like, I'm catching Pokemon. But uh, I, also, I've had a couple issues with freezing. Have you guys had that? Matt? Yeah. There's been a couple of yeah. times where I've caught something. And it and just stops, just and the ball, the ball just rolls around. And you're pissed because you're something that you want. Yeah, like this is gonna sound lame, but a magic carp. Well, I was walking down my aisles, and a magic carp appeared. And I, you know, I right. Well, it. the the first one that you see, you want to get it. I mean, like, I mean, at any point in the game, yes. Now, magic carp. Yes, we've caught like tens of them. You know. Yeah. But but it's you know at the beginning when you don't have any Pokemon. Any Pokemon is exciting to catch. Yeah, like you're looking at a Rattata, like this is He's amazing. Like, yeah, this is awesome. And I've caught so many of those. <laughs> right, right. Fun fact: I just found this out today. For those of you who are playing and you're going through Pokeballs, like, oh no, crazy! I had an analogy and it just left my mind. Well, there. I like, always oh. make sure just to, uh, go to like the Poke Centers because those are awesome. Because you just get a bunch of free. Like I got up like 120 Pokeballs. <laughs> Get you out, mean, seriously? Yeah. yeah. If you throw a Pokeball and you miss your Pokemon, tap the Pokeball quickly before it disappears, and it'll go back into your inventory. Seriously? Yeah, yes. I, I did not. I, know. I wish I would have known that. I wish I would have known that, too, because right now I have zero Pokeballs, and I want to go play Pokemon Go. Well, you better hit a Pokestop. Well, you know, the nearest one's like three miles down the road. Well, it's an There's a Bulbasaur near. It's life. Go out and live it, Sean. <laughs> Uh, well, so, so I think what um, we're actually going to be releasing our avatars and kind of sharing our thoughts on Go, because let's be honest, you know, it's it hasn't even hasn't even been a full week yet. Yeah. So there's only, I mean, you know, it's only going to get get better, you know. Okay. I'm just. I'm just upset that all the that I, I was kind of late to the game, and even though it hasn't even been a full week yet, there's people that have conquered gems that have like ridiculously high level Pokemon. Now I'm like, what's going on? Like this one guy I saw online, he, he like he found a way to like cheat using his drone, and he just flew his drone all over town. Oh, and just, seriously? Like, yeah, and like started catching everything, and he was uh, incubating eggs, and it was catching all the because um, it was movement. Yeah, because it doesn't like track, you know how fast you're going. It does. Oh, it, it does. It does? Yeah, yeah, like you can open it in the car, and it, it knows that there's no humanly way possible that you're, that you're going that, that fast. fast. Yeah, because I would see like he would walk, and then he'd do, and he would like like speed up like really quick, and then he'd just slow down, and then. While we're talking about cars, y'all people play. Y'all gotta be safe. You can't be playing this while you're yes. driving your car. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't tell you how many times I'm like, you, you're driving. I, I'll. I'll, I'll I'll play for you. Right. And, and so some, passengers, take the initiative. Yeah. Grab the driver's phone and then catch say, Hey, it. I see a such and such. Would you like me to catch it? Yes, I would. You don't even have to ask, just catch it. Do not yeah. slam. Well, if they're on low on brakes. Pokeballs, you don't want to waste their Pokeballs. Yeah, but you can get candy and level up your Pokemon. Okay, well you know what? See they there's you know double sided coin here. Also, uh mention 
you go do these things, take someone with you. Yes. Because yes. there have been incidents where people are I don't I honestly haven't messed with this feature yet, but apparently you can put a, a lures. Yeah, yeah, yeah on the pokey stops and and it brings um, more it'll, people in. Yeah, it'll let you know, hey, come over here and there's uh, Idiots! People have been robbed. Don't yeah. don't go alone. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah, like any Travel like any bus. great thing that comes, there's always going to be people that want to fill it with toxins. Crap on it, <laughs> right? Yeah. So just 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 be safe. Be you know? safe out there on your pokey it, journey. It's dangerous you know out funny, there. Right? Take this with you. Yeah, t take a buddy. <laughs> have you guys heard about like there was a bunch of people who did a pokey meetup at like 3 a.m. at this park and this cop stopped them and he couldn't figure out what was going on and then 20 minutes later the cops playing Pokemon Go. That makes sense though, right? <laughs> yeah. See, Pokemon is bringing cops and people together with all this crap that's going around in the country. Yeah. Pokemon is the safe haven. <laughs> I've seen an, I've seen a meme where it's like it's the argument scene from Shrek two. And oh, it's yeah. like all the various people, like all the various rights groups or like political groups, and then finally it's just Donkey and he goes, Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. 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 How about that woman who was playing and found a dead body in the river? Right. Yes. That that was like a crazy coincidence. They were but, just like she was just out for a little morning stroll and then just there was a there's a body. But what kind That'd of water Pokemon did she find? <laughs> that they didn't tell us. They didn't even tell us where oh well, you know. She called a legendary, and she's trying to make sure nobody bugs her about it. <laughs> she went into hiding after she found. She found body. a squirtle farm. <laughs> we have top men looking at it right now. Top men. <laughs> top men. So quick, name your starter. For what? You gotta be more specific. For Pokemon Go. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, well, you know, Pokemon in general, man. I I went with Charizard. I mean, Char yeah. Charmander. You starting with Charizard? Whoa. Char Charmander, because of Charizard. Shit. Charmander. Same. Yeah. I did Charmander. 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 Really, I'm, the, I'm the odd one out, Squirtle. Oh, yeah. See, I have a Squirtle. Squirtle's right. awesome. Don't get me wrong. See, I have Charmander and Squirtle. I have Charmander and Bulbasaur. I have Squirtle and Bulbasaur. I cannot find a Charmander. You should have with Charmander. Where do you find the Squirtle? Near a body of water. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just gotten lucky, and it's like just randomly popped up. I caught a Dratini last night walking my dog. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. It, was it was like just, just randomly you know, chilling just... on the like the, on the lawn, uh, like outside of our complex. I'm just like, okay, and caught it. I caught a uh, Dratini in a Home Depot parking lot. So seriously, <laughs> yeah, I was saying that Home Depot is looking to improve their home. Or the, <laughs> I got the a rock Dratini. You know, I was taking back the moving truck, and, and it popped up, and I was like, wait, why is there a Jatini in Home Depot? <laughs> but it was out in the parking lot. It was in between Home Depot and Toys R Us. I haven't seen a Jatini yet. I haven't either. I haven't seen any uh, rare ones. Yeah, I haven't seen any. I keep any. seeing Rattata's on the list right now. And Nidorinos and Caterpies. And yeah. Those. I got a Star You. I haven't seen one. I got, yeah, I got one. a Star You, too. Granted, I'm only playing when I'm at work, and I'm pretty much... You're only playing <laughs> while you're at work? That is like the worst thing that you should tell anyone. And, uh, <laughs> Don't tell your boss to listen to this. <laughs> yeah. What's it? Are uh, you guys nicknaming your Pokemon? No. I have not yet. I nicknamed one, and I named it after my, after my boss. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something completely different for a second. Whoa. See, I haven't named any of mine. Daddy buddy. Oh, all mine have terrible names. Do they really? <laughs> yeah, like my slow, po my slow poke's name is Derp. 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 My and my uh, my uh, Vulpix is named Mozilla. Nice. That's funny. I'm still personally a fan of your Venonat. My vet. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Me. It's bitch pudding. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say so. Oh, a lot of the have you? I don't, Matt. Well, you are. Um, the pokey stops a lot of them here are churches yeah um which i find ironic because as i can recall the church back in the day being very anti pokemon because it, it taught evolution um so Seriously? i kind of find that yeah I, I just find that ironic because you know it's like every pokey stop here is a church yeah all of ours here are fast food restaurants well that makes sense the one near my house is a post office yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, so here's another one. I, I I caught a bunch of um, where the where are the egg ones called? 
What do you mean? Like the, the, the group of oh, execute. Oh, execute. 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 I, I, I named those egg, Eggs Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, my my, uh, my uh, pincer is uh, named Clamps. Give him the clamp. And, oh, yeah. This is my, yeah, this is, <laughs> and this is my favorite. Give him the clamp. My Psyduck's name is Advil. Advil? Yeah. <laughs> Give him the clamps. <laughs> exactly. Oh. oh, yeah, it does work. I just missed and I grabbed a Pokeball and it gave it back. Thank you for that hey, tidbit. Hey, we are working here. Yeah. Thank you for that tidbit. We're You're working. telling him not to play at work. You're playing when we're talking? I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought I'm we had some. I'm I'm training. Okay. Uh, sure. Start epic Pokemon montage. <laughs> montage. I thought it was funny too. As soon as it dropped, you had memes everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Like, dude, it was ridiculous. Like, it still blows my mind. It hasn't even been a full week, and how much like it things have just kind of. Between the teams is the best. Blown up from my guess. throwing mud at each other. Like it gets yeah, heated. that's true. And I don't even understand that. Hashtag Team Mystic. Yeah. Yes, Mystic <laughs> is number one. Yeah. Hey, what are you, Matt? I'm Valor. <laughs> oh, you say that with such sadness. Because I was pushed into doing it with. Okay, so you guys know how I went out to dinner with, or went out to dinner last night. I, we. Yeah. It was me, and my girlfriend, and then like two of her friends from school, and um, and one of their boyfriends. And he was there with his brother, and they're both like, "Oh, you gotta do Valor, you gotta do Valor." I'm like, "I, I kind of want to do Mystic," and they're like, "Don't do Mystic, do Valor. Valor is better." And I was like, "Fine," and I did it. And I'm like, "God damn it, why did I do this?" <laughs> I caved to peer pressure. Don't do that, kids. I was about to say you definitely walked, walked it right into that peer if, pressure. If you want, I can give you the the fan cast Gmail account, and you can create a new character with it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll wait until they update the feature like switch. He cannot. He he made his bed. <laughs> sleep in it. And he's going to sleep in it. It's nice and cold and low. <laughs> Speaking of updates, just from what I've heard rumor wise for the updates, we will be able to trade soon. Man, I don't know why they didn't start off with that to be honest. Bro, okay, let's be honest yeah. here. Let's 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 not bite off more than we can chew. I am ready to trade. <laughs> you guys want one of my three radicates? <laughs> I got lots of ratatas. <laughs> ratatas. Look them ratatates. <laughs> got them polygirls. Yo, dog! I heard you like ratatas. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I want to catch two Oddish and name them Bob and Marley. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, we need to trade soon. Make that happen, Nintendo. Yes, I'm sure they've just had a. Over like flooding amount of suggestions. Over nine. And they don't want to hear your shit. They're gonna do things their own way. <laughs> Are they a strong independent company? No strong independent. <laughs> <laughs> and we have such big penis. <laughs> <laughs> I had to watch that episode the other day. That's it's so nice small. Fuck <laughs> <on> my own. <laughs> We must destroy the evil power. What is the evil power? It will reveal itself when it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I can't wait till South Park gets a hold of this. Oh, it'll be soon. <laughs> Very soon. Trey Stone and what's the name Matt Parker. Mm -hmm. They will. They will get this soon. <laughs> All right. Um, well, anybody else got any? Uh, Last minute information they want to throw out. You I guess out there. I got yeah. no, uh, no running across the street without looking. Yes, yeah, use crosswalks. No stopping in the middle. Common of sense. Stopping. We shouldn't yes. have to explain this to each other. Yes. Don't rob people. Seriously. Yes. yes. <laughs> just, be dick. just, just be smart. And if and you can run over, you, you deserve it. If you see a Pokemon that might be on private property. Go as close to not getting on the private property. If you have to, you should probably ask permission because people might get a little creeped out if you're just walking around with your cell phone and all whatnot. 
It happened to me. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Did they pull a gun on you or anything? I was just trying to find the Pikachu. Use the buddy system. I literally walked around this entire like business like they had a fence and I couldn't go in. I was like, why, Nintendo? Why Why are you putting Pikachu inside of a gated city where I cannot get inside? Please, sir, may I have a Pikachu? <laughs> That's what it feels like. I can't go in. Who knows what Pokemon are in there, man? Yeah. They're bogarting them. <laughs> They're awarding them. Knock on the door. Hey, there's a Charmander in your backyard. Can I catch it? Slams door, goes to the backyard, catches it. <sighs> no, it's mine. It's such a dick move. All right, well, if you uh, just stay tuned to the page, we're going to be definitely releasing news about Pokemon Go and kind of our our two cents on it because we're definitely going to be playing on a daily basis. And uh, I'm playing right now. Yes. <laughs> Surprisingly, before we end this, it hasn't eaten up a lot of my data. No, it hasn't. Yeah. I was really worried. That was, uh, something it I was sucks the battery, about. though. It'll eat your oh, battery, so yeah. So much. But as you know, data kind of didn't do. Yeah, it I'm. I'm actually either. very pleased on the uh, the data consumption for, for for how much I've had it open. I was expecting it to be a lot, a lot worse. Yes. But uh, yeah, now we can end the show. Yep. So if you have any cool <laughs> stories while you've been out uh, pokey hunting, um, leave them leave them in the comments below because we definitely want to hear them. Because I mean. I've already had a horrible experience. So who who knows what you guys have experienced out there? So share with us. Um, We're yeah. anxious to hear of the experience. <laughs> Catch them all, but be safe. Until next time, I'm the other Luke. I'm the other host. I'm Sherlock Colvin. And I'm Lord Skywalker. We'll see you later.